Hello, and welcome to our notes on absolute value. We're still going to be evaluating expressions, but now we're going to use that idea of absolute value. And some of you guys might remember what that is from grade school, but the, the key idea is absolute value is always positive. So let's write that in here. I just want to put that in parentheses. Always, and I'm going to put the plus sign for positive. Now, why is it always positive? Because absolute value is a distance, and there's no such thing as negative distance. You wouldn't say, hey, I'm negative two miles away. All right, distance is always positive, and absolute value is the distance from zero. That is the definition right there. That's why it's always positive. So distance from zero. Okay, and if you guys remember the symbol for absolute value, it's the two vertical lines, okay? And I'll, I'll kind of write that. There's the symbol right there. And whatever, we can put some value in between there. All right, so let's take a look at two examples. Let's say I put a value at negative three, right? Well, I would say the absolute value then of negative three is, well, how far away is it from zero? Here's zero right here. And we can see that this distance, negative three, is one, two, it's three units away. So that's why the absolute value of negative three is three. The same is true for, let's put a point at three. The absolute value of three, well that's still three units away, so it's also three. So there's a quick little reminder of what absolute value is, that's why it's always positive. Let's take a look at how we're gonna use it to solve our expressions. All right, the first expression, it's the same stuff we've been doing, now they're just gonna incorporate that absolute value. So first one might look like something like this, negative three times the absolute value of negative five minus parentheses negative two plus four squared. Order of operations still, we still have to follow them when we're evaluating expressions. So we do the exponent first, four squared, that's 16. All right, I've got, the, I still have the negative three times, well I can already change the absolute value of negative five. What is the absolute value of negative five? Well, that's simply gonna be positive five. I can take away the negative. All right, then minus a minus two, right here, two negatives, makes it a positive two. So we still got some multiplication, so three times net positive five now is negative 15 plus two, that should be a plus sign, plus 16. So negative 15 plus 16 is, plus 2 is negative 13. Negative 13 plus 16 is positive 3. There is our answer. Cool part about absolute, absolute value is we could also substitute it just like we've been doing before. So here's one more quick example I'd like to show you. If they give us a problem like this, evaluate absolute value of 2x minus 10 plus 7 4 x equals 3. So that means where I see an x, I'm going to substitute that in. So here we go. All right. This is going to go right here. So when I rewrite this, I'm going to put my absolute value sign. I'm going to put 2. I'm going to substitute that 3 in for x. Minus 10 plus 7. Follows order of operations inside the absolute value. 2 times 3 is 6. Minus 10, well, 6 minus 10 is negative 4, absolute value of negative 4, plus 7. Well, we know that the absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4, plus 7, so our final answer equals 11. 